He's going coast to coast. Clear the runway. He's coming in. It's a helicopter slam jam. He's going to pull up from three. Count. Watch this guy go. Double drive, backs it in, and gets it. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Tommy Palmer set to bring you the play-by-play. -play. Dr. Swearingen will have the color today as we bring you the adapted sports program's wheelchair championships from the Macon Centerplex. As always, Dr. Swearingen, a pleasure to work with you. Oh, my pleasure to be with you and to be at this event. It's such a great thing. As we go through today's program, we will explain to you about some of the subtle nuances of the wheelchair game itself. And we will talk about two very good uh, basketball teams here today, the Gwinnett Heat and the Houston County Sharps. And of course, Sharks, and they're of course uh, here for the fourth straight year. That's correct. Uh, yeah, the, in 2012, the Heat won the state championship. In 2013, 14, and 15, it was the Sharks that won it. So uh, the, they're used to being here and uh, it'll be a good ball game. Let's talk about the principles for both teams. Well, I think uh, they're, they're the key player probably for, um, for Houston Sharks will be Braxton Robinson. He's uh, a great scorer. He's very quick with, uh, with uh, his chair and uh, rebounds well, just does everything very, very well. Um, I think for, um, for the uh, Gwinnett Heat, it's probably going to be Robbie Berry. There are a couple of players that can play well for them. Uh, Robbie's a team leader. He scores. He plays defense. Um, so those are the people I think they each team looks to. Okay, very good. Uh, for, the, for the Sharks, they've got uh, the keys to the game. The Sharks have to continue their attempt intensity. They press on defense, they fast break on offense, and they've got to keep that going if they're going to uh, keep the pressure on the Heat. For Gwinnett, the keys would be? Uh, they're, they're a good rebounding team, but they've got to get their putbacks up. Uh, in, in the last two games that I saw, they missed a lot of uh, chances to score where they got the rebound but didn't score again, and they got to spread it around. Right now, it's Robbie, uh, King, uh, Ro Robbie uh, Barry, and Kendrell King who do all their scoring. They've got to get some help from some other people. The GHSA Basketball Championships are made possible in part by Regions Bank. It's time to expect more. Georgia's Electric Membership Corporation, lighting the way. Technical College System of Georgia, learn more, earn more. And by viewers like you. Thank you. The GHSA would like to thank the Georgia Farm Bureau. As a strong, stable bank, Regions is always looking for opportunities to boost the vitality of our communities. In addition to offering financial solutions for our customers, we are committed to supporting local initiatives and organizations that help our neighborhoods thrive. Regions is proud to be a partner with GPB in building a better Georgia. Nothing prepares you better for a great career than the Technical College System of Georgia. TCSG colleges produce graduates with the knowledge and training today's top employers are looking for. With campuses across Georgia, state-of-the-art facilities, and outstanding instructors with real-world experience, it's the kind of affordable college education that will fast-track you into a rewarding career. We're building a better future for you. Contact the TCSG College in your area today or go to tcsg.edu. At the heart of our community are the businesses that don't skip a beat. Georgia's electric membership cooperatives stand behind local commerce. Whether keeping farms running or shining a light on new ventures, we bring business, large and small, to our communities. Creating jobs, driving development, supporting dreams. Georgia's EMCs, powering our businesses, lighting the way. Dr. Swearingen, let's take a look at today's starting lineups. For the House and Sharks, uh, number 10 is Jordan Kozlowski, and uh, number 11 is Braxton Robinson. Number 20, Donovan Way. Uh, number 24, Kiera Miles, and number 33, Will Moore. That will be their starting lineup. All right, for the Gwinnett Heat, let's take a look at their starters as well. Number 10, Robbie Berry. Uh, number 14, Kathy Luna. 
number 22, Derek Claros, number 23, Kendrell King, and number 55, Stephen Hobson. Very good. Those are your starting lineups. And it's interesting, Dr. Swearingen, when we take a look at this, it's called the ASP, the American Association of Adapted Sports Programs. And it's, it's quite unique in that you can have a disability to play this game, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a wheelchair incident. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, there, there are legal guidelines in the Americans with Disabilities Act and other similar uh, legislative pieces that, that indicate that you have a legal disability. And as long as you qualify for that, you're a, you can qualify for a, an ASP event. Uh, some of these people are, are in wheelchairs most all their day. Uh, others of them are not. And um, it gives an opportunity for people who can't play in able-bodied sports to be able to participate. Very good. Okay, we've seen, we've seen these two before, and last year, Houston County got off to a great start, and Gwinnett just could not overcome that, that, that first six minutes. And by the way, we will be playing six quarters, if that makes any sense. Six periods. I've, 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 yeah, we, we call it six quarters, <laughs> and the correct pronunciation is six periods of basketball yeah. with a running clock, Dr. Yeah. Swearingen. And the tip goes to the Gwinnett Heat, and we've got a breakaway, and... Down goes one of the sharks. Now, uh, explain this. We have certain wheelchair specifications. Dr. Yes, Spurgeon. yes, they have to meet guidelines. They have the, the sport chair is a little bit lower so that there's less likelihood of tipping, although it does happen. The, the chair, the wheels are angled so there's less high sideways tipping. Uh, they've got two sets of safety straps to protect them, but there are going to be times where there will indeed be uh, a spill. Had a breakaway, but the ball goes out of bounds. Couldn't handle it down there for the Sharks. I think one of the, te the teams are going to have to make some adjustments. They're going to have to make some adjustments on the size of this floor compared to maybe some of the floors they've played on before. And most of them are used to shooting with a wall or within a few feet behind the basket. So there will be little visual things they're going to have to work on. Let's go ahead and set the stage for the turns of the wheels. Fired up and no good by the Gwinnett Heat on the fast break and the rebound goes to Houston County. The Sharks on a breakaway and going to be thrown away out of bounds. You have to turn the wheels two times and bounce the ball, correct? That's correct. Every time every time you bounce, uh, you uh, turn the wheel twice, then you have to have a dribble. Uh, and also a little tricky thing is here is if they pivot uh, the chair, if they keep their hand on the on the wheel, it does not count as a, as a, a turn. Uh, and so you'll see some you'll see some traveling calls because of the fact that they release their hand from the wheel when they turn and they don't get the dribble down in time. Okay, you've seen these teams play. Yes. You've seen both of these teams play. And, and Gwinnett has their work cut out for them because Houston County has just a tremendous four-year record, which is unbelievable, Dr. Swearington. Yeah, they do. And, and, and I think that uh, it's a very talented Heat team. I saw the regular season game between the two, and uh, it was fairly one-sided. It was 34 to, uh, 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 32 to 14, I believe. Uh, and it's just that the Heat did not play at their potential. If they're playing what they're capable of playing, it will be a competitive game. We, we see a little more enthusiasm in this game than we did already last year by the Gwinnett Heat. Yes, I think so. The tempo is up. Uh, and, uh, wow. Somebody else goes down. Yeah. And they're back up. They're back up very quickly. Very quickly. Yeah. But the tempo is good, but it, it takes a while. As you said, the arenas they have been playing in are much different from yeah. the center place. And we saw Kendrick use a great skill there to being able to scoop the loose ball up from the side of his chair. We'll talk about that maybe a little bit about what's involved in that skill. Uh, Kendall's a 23 on the on the Heat is a is a very talented player going for rebounds, going for loose balls, playing good defense. Very Not good player. Pass. And the ball gets away, but watch how quickly they go yes. get the ball. And that was amazing how he picked it up right there. What yes. an excellent move. He's a very skilled athlete, no question about it. And I think that. Uh, Folks don't appreciate sometimes how what athletic talent it requires to play this game. Shots up, no good, out of bounds, and it still counts. If the wheelchair goes out of bounds, sorry, part of the body. It, it's part of the body. Where you're on the court and how it is for fouls, a wheelchair is part of the body. Houston is 0 for 3 so far. 
neither team has really broken the ice here and it, when it's when it starts it will begin and it always does bounced out of bounds near our broadcast area here. Dr. Swords and it's always a pleasure to work with you. We we had a great time last year. Oh, we did, certainly did, and uh, I just really love ASP and all that they do. So to be a part of their events would be a, is a, always a great experience. Sharks great on a fast give and break. go, and Jordan uh, gets fouled by Robbie. Jordan's extremely gifted at moving without the ball, and uh, she screens, uh, she makes cuts to the basket to make herself open for passes. Great ball she, handler. She is. Very, very good at this game. She she has been here how many years now? I remember this is when she was year. much younger. Yeah, fourth year. She's only in, she's only a ninth grade student at Houston County High School. Right. Uh, she's also a member of the Blaze uh, Community Club wheelchair basketball team. Free throw misses everything. And I think that may be a good example, Tommy, of how the, the background makes it difficult to judge your shot. Exactly. That that works not just for the wheelchair participants, but it works also for those who are coming in and used to playing in a high school gymnasium, which may be even a large gymnasium. But when when you have these elevated uh, basketball goals, it's like shooting out in midair. Yeah, that's right. There's no background there, and you, it, it, your vision tells you things that aren't really there. Exactly. All right. Gwinnett so headed the, down the other way now. Pressure by the Sharks. Robbie they, Berry going to really try to trigger it in and does. They always try to trap in the corners. Always. Braxton comes over to cut him off. Uh, nice pass. Ten, ten second, second violation. It does apply in this as well. Exactly. And Derek Claris, the man who caught, caught the pass just now, is uh, always open. He really has a great gift for getting open. He's the one they look to for outlet passes and when they get tied up. Houston with their third turnover of the game. Our officials are Leon Porter, Alvin Jackson, Stephen Lewis today. Excellent and they, officials, and they're certified in this particular sport. Yes, they are. Short. Oh, good rebound. Follow up oh, is good. good. All right. Donovan Way sticks it back. Excellent basket that time by Donovan Way. The follow. And. The Heat trying to get it across the timeline and does. Bounced away and picked up Kendall and break away. Out of nowhere and gets fouled. <laughs> I tell you what, they really take off on that fast break. There's a look at it from that particular angle on the fast break. The thing that I noticed differently about the, the regular basketball games and the wheelchair games is that everybody gets in the slot at the free throw line. I don't know who came up with the idea, but they, but in, in, in high school and college and pros, you never see all of the slots filled they, anymore. They leave them vacant. Second shot is no good. Gwinnett now trailing by one. Sharks, Houston County. The defending champions trying to get it across the timeline. Jordan sets an excellent screen at midcourt to free him. Derek cuts off the ball. And a break away. Uh, yeah. Way got to give it a back and then back to Way. Good. Right. Yeah. Donald and Way with the basket. Good interior passing. The Sharks do a great job of passing the basketball. They try to do long passes and they've misfired on a couple of them, but that's been the key to them all year is fast break is, and a long pass is very difficult to judge speed. Let's take a look at that last basket, Dr. Swearing. Right. Here's the breakaway, right. the Braxton's pass. Braxton's great pass up to Donovan. He tries to get it back, and he does. And up and in, Donovan and there's Wade. Another there's one. another one. All right. I think Donovan has found the soft spot there. And I think somebody in the heat may want to guard him. <laughs> it, it, they probably do. And there's going to be timeout down on the uh, court there. Let's take a look right. at it. Donovan just 
there was absolutely no interference on that side of the basket no, that and, time. And they do a great job. The, the Sharks do a great job of, of running out of bounds plays. Uh, you don't see a lot of teams do that uh, at, at the wheelchair level, but they do a great job. They do they do screens. They do reverse pivots. That time it just appeared like it was uh, a defensive lapse. Houston County three for six. Gwinnett 0 for three here in the first period of play. Time really flies when you have the running clock. Let's explain that, Dr. Swear. Yeah, the, the idea is that with the six quarters, um, that, so that you they said were, it. I did. I did <laughs> six periods. That's right. Old habits are hard to break. Um, that they play running time. That means the only time we stop is for a, 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 a timeout or for a free throw. Right. But the running clock. It just keeps on going otherwise. There it goes. And they get the ball. Again. The Heat trying to get it in. Might have a breakaway uh, here. Right. Here Robin. we go. And see if Donovan Way can cut him off. Jordan's coming from behind. He does Robbie a great Perry. job. Jordan comes and gets a piece of the ball, I think. And man, what a tussle for the ball That's down right. under. The intensity is, is just is just fantastic. Uh, it these, is. These players really, really play hard. They do. They really do. And of course, Jordan Kozlowski, she knows this game. Uh, she does. She is. She's a very, very intelligent player. So if you've just joined us, Houston County, the defending champions, up by a score of six to one. Gwinnett with a few opportunities, which well, I would consider missed opportunities on breakaway baskets. Gwinnett going to trigger it in now. Derek. Claros shot is up and no good foul foul is on Braxton Robinson. Yep. Let's take a look at Donovan way and what he's done today. It. And there's an example of off ball movement to get your chair in a position where you can help your team. A lot of times when fans watch the game, they stick with the ball all the time. Just watch a few minutes away from the ball and you'll see some amazing things from these athletes. Exactly. Free throw is up, no good. Robbie Berry on the attempt. Rebound to Gwinnett. Back to Robbie, no, off the rim. And Houston County gonna come down with it. And you see they're moving out for the fast break. They're heading people down court. Nice fake move. So there. we got a three on one set up now because of their fast break. Good ball got fake. Got a break away, good, yes. up and in. Braxton faked uh, the pass and, and was able to keep it himself. Three on one when you're on the defense on the one is tough whether you're in a chair or whether you're an able body athlete. Six to nothing, Houston oh, run. Wow. Got us a foul. little collision there. Yeah, quite a foul, as a matter of fact. Kendra King took the tumble there. Kendall's coming back off of a hand injury in the final game of the regular season against uh, against the Sharks. He had a hand injury and it hampered him a little bit. Last week in the semifinal game, he he was coming back pretty well. He looks like he's got full use today. Good. Kendra King. Shooting it properly, grabbing it the he way has, a shooter should shoot. He has great rotation on shots. That one didn't yeah. fall, but uh, whether it's talking about free throws or uh, field goal attempts, it's really um, great rotation. Shoot it with the seams. Yeah, and there's a long pass from Jordan. A breakaway here. Heat back Bryce. on defense. And the first period ends there. All right, we're going to shoot free throws. It should be over with. We ought to clear the lane, maybe. Yeah, we got a, we got some free throws coming up. Braxton Robinson, Laros, Claros with the foul. Derek Claros. A 
officials trying to decide what we're going to do with the point three. There we go. Point three. Point three. Point three. Free throw, no good. And another coming here. It really got quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> did, did you notice that too? Second shot. Braxton fires short. No good. And the period will end there. We have played one. Houston Sharks lead the Gwinnett Heat. Eight to two. We'll take a time out here and we'll return to the Bacon Centerplex with more of the wheelchair championship when we return. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. This isn't Madison Square Garden. These drills probably won't make anyone a number one draft pick. But these players are practicing for something important. While they work on their jump shots, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, how to deal with wins and losses. Skills that will make them winners long after they leave the court. Support high school activities in your community. Because when kids take part, they get set for life. Jordan Koslowski will trigger it in for Houston County. Nope, now we got a change there. Donovan Way will trigger it in. Houston is four of seven from the floor. Gwinnett is 0 of five. And only one out of six from the free throw line, so they're going to have to pick up that, that offense. Definitely. Donovan Way. Right side. And the shot is up and no good. Rebound comes out to the Heat. They need to get something going here. We have Trevion Martin in now for the Sharks. Whoop, interception. Jordan Kozlowski intercepts. Donovan, Donovan Wayne up and good. Automatic Donovan from that spot. He's he is good. Several. He has eight points now. And the important thing to note, Tommy, is that a player, every player has to play at least one full quarter of this game. That's one of the reasons they go to six, uh, six periods. And there's Kendall showing his chair speed. Jordan's trying to catch up. Hurries the shot. Rebound, follow up, no good. Follow yet again, no good. Follow up again, Kendall good. Yeah. Kendall King. And with that's the follow. Talked about in the beginning is the fact that uh, the rebounding of the of the heat has to pay off with some scores. Right. Travion. Up no good. Follow. Oh, no good. Shot. Jordan. Jordan. Yes. Jordan Kozlowski. Ten three your score. 12 three year score now. Across the timeline. Derek Claris is a very solid player. He's just, he just does everything well and they count on him to be free. Shot is up, no good. Rebound to the Sharks. And they've got a person breaking loose. Gonna be a foul here. Derek Claros. Let's take a look at it. Great pass. And Donovan notice Way. the speed that, that Donovan used on his chair that enabled him not to shoot the ball too hard. I like the way he handles his chair. He handles the speed. He slows it down. He doesn't just come blazing through there. 
And, he shoots know, it like a layup. Able-bodied players, when they're coming on a fast break, they can break down some of the forward momentum by adjusting upward as they extend oh, no, upward. Up. When you're in a chair and it's rolling one way, it really takes some effort to get the right speed on there. Derek Claros. Batted away, and Houston County is going to have it the other way. Yeah, I think it was Derek who asked me before the game if I remembered him from last year. <laughs> I think I said uh, yes. yes. Of course I remember you. Nice screen at midcourt by Trevion. Houston County nice. four court. Good hustle by Stephen Hobson. Stolen away. By Houston Jordan. No good. Rebound comes out to Gwinnett. Robbie Berry traveling. And there's an example. He, he made his rotation and took his hand off. So that counts as a turn. Then he turned two more times, and that was too many. So he can make a turn. As long as, he, uh, as long as he bounces it twice, right? Uh, as long as he keeps his hand on the wheel when he makes his turn, it doesn't count as a turn. When he takes his hand off, the next time he pushes with his wheel, that's a turn. You only allowed two of those. Donovan Way with yet another basket. Donovan's having a career here. Nice pass to Robbie. Good break here by Gwinnett. Good shot. Falls away. Jordan Kozlowski gonna come away with it. A fast break. Looking. Goes to the right side, passes back to the left up, and good. What an outstanding play. Braxton outstanding Robinson. Play. Jordan drew the defense to her and had her head up and was able then to get Braxton coming down the other side. That was outstanding. Let's take a look at this. Good ball movement here. Jordan Kozlowski. On a Houston to count, Houston County six to nothing run here. There's Jordan. Drew the defense, passes to the weak side. Got it. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Donovan Way has 10 points, 10 out of the 16. And the Heat in full court. Had a nice double screen that allowed Kendall to cut back to the weak side. King has it batted away from him. Stolen away by the Sharks. Robinson across the timeline, top of the key, breakaway, shot is up, no good, rebound. Comes out of there to Claros. The lefty being pursued there, he gets across the timeline. Looking ahead, and we've got a shot up coming here in the lane up and no good. A little low there. Robbie did a good job of adjusting his chair and getting into the lane. Uh, the, the shot did. just didn't come. He really did. Just a little short on that shot. Whistle. Was that on the heat? Yes. yes. Okay. When, when, uh, when Stephen these, Hobson, yes. When these two teams played the end of the regular season, Gwinnett did not do any backcourt pressure. When they played the semifinal game against the Atlanta Wolfpack, the Heat had some very effective pre pressure on the backcourt, and they're trying to do the same thing now. They're doing it this time. Yeah, they really are. Oh, nice pass. Oh, my. Quite a tumble down there. And up and in the wheelchair that nice bothers speed. me it always makes you wonder how they do that shot is up and good nice shot from downtown there yeah Robbie's had a, a couple of spills today I'm not sure I don't usually see him having those kinds of spills Travion Walker with the basket 18 to 3 now just under a minute and a half left in this period. Shot is up and no good by Derek Claros. And the rebound comes out to Houston County. Braxton Robinson on the rebound across the timeline. 
And they got Trady and Walker open down underneath. And stolen away. Derek Carlos comes up with a loose ball, looking and got a breakaway here. Three on we got none. a three on none break. Let's see. Shot is up and no good. Whistle and a foul. Let's take a look at this basket from Houston. Shot is up and bounces around. Trevian good. Walker gets that shooter's bounce, and that's that's great. That's what happens when you have good rotation. When you have good rotation on the basketball instead of spin, when you have the backward rotation on it, you get bounce sometimes. More times than not. Yes. Good form in the free throw. Still won't fall for him. You can tell he's really frustrated today, can't you? Yeah. One for seven in free throws. Second one, no good. Follow up, no good. And out of bounds. I believe it was out of bounds off the heat. That had to be off of Stephen Hobson. All right, here comes Braxton now. Across the timeline. Derek did a good job of cutting off his forward progress. Oh, oh wow. what a nice pass. Up and oh. good. My word. I tell you what. <laughs> that had some steam on it. <laughs> it did. It, that was surprising. Determined. Good screen there at midcourt by Stephen yep. Hobson. Ten to nothing, Houston County. Right. To get himself a shot. Oh, Derek. Downtown shot from Derek Claros. And bounces away. And the period ends there. And so far, it's been all Houston County. Twenty to three, Dr. Swearingen. When we return, maybe the time away from the game will get some 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 new attacks here going for the Gwinnett Heat. We'll be back in a moment. Providing safe, affordable, and reliable electricity requires more than bucket trucks and utility poles. These are the faces behind your power. For more than 75 years, Georgia's nonprofit member-owned electric cooperatives have been on a mission to brighten the lives of more than four and a half million Georgians. We are Georgia's EMCs, proudly serving our members, lighting the way. Today, companies in the aerospace, advanced manufacturing, and film industries need skilled workers, and the earning potential is high. Go Build Georgia can show you where the jobs are and what skills you need to get them. And the Technical College System of Georgia has fast, affordable training for these great paying careers. Build your blueprint for success at GoBuildGeorgia.com and look to the Technical College System of Georgia to put your plan into action. Across 91 counties, Georgia's cotton industry employs over 15,000 people with more than 3,000 Georgia farmers that bring cotton into our everyday lives. When life turns up the heat and the pressure makes you sweat, there's one sure way to cool down. For those glory moments on and off the court, cotton is with you for the win. Cotton, the natural choice for Georgia. It's been all Houston County so far, 20 to 3 in the wheelchair championship game. And Jordan Koslowski triggers it in. Dr. Swearingen at the timeout, what do you think is going to happen here for the Gwinnett Heat? What, well, what they're going to have to turn up the intensity. In the semifinal game, they had a very slow start. They had the lead, but they had a very slow start. And then they shut out the Atlanta Wolfpack for 16 minutes. So if they turn up the defensive intensity, it could happen, but that right there, that great pass across the lane, and Sharks here will get an easy basket. Donovan Way, once more. Here comes the Heat, down by 19. Derek set another great screen, but the, the help side defense of the Sharks cut off Robbie Berry, and he couldn't get to the basket. Right there, good shot, bounces away. They just can't get anything to fall. They're getting some open shots, but they. 
But their rebounding skill, Robbie came across and got it. Kendall's gotten two rebounds. So defense and rebounding is what. Exactly. Here comes the pass across court. I'll tell you what, Mr. Donovan Way is having a career today, and he'll remember this game. And what you got to remember, people have to be looking for the pass as well as being able to throw the pass. And uh, these players are very unselfish, and they're looking for open teammates. Free throw, no good. By the way, 14 points for Mr. Way. That's great, and, and Gwinnett has not scored uh, since the 6.54 mark of the second period. Yes, they have. They just scored. They just did. Excuse me, what am I thinking? <laughs> free Thank throw. you, Tommy, appreciate it. Oh. Gwinnett, one out of two on the free throws this trip down the floor. If I've noticed one thing, Dr. Swearingen, Houston County a little quicker down the floor. They really are, they look for that. Tregion Walker down under, batted away. And we'll trigger it in. New number in there for Houston County is Bryce Lowry. And he'll trigger it in. Jordan Kozlowski has it batted away by Derek Claros. And it'll be the Sharks ball down at the other end. Must have been on the timeline. Must have been on the end line. Had to be. Yeah. Either that or it was, it may have been a violation of the lane. You cannot step into the, you cannot wheel yourself into the lane or set up in the lane until the ball's put in the hand of the thrower. Here now, comes Derek again. Right down the lane. Oh, nice inside pass. Nice inside pass and batted away. Let's see if there's a whistle and a foul. Let's explain why we have a moment here how somebody could get themselves up back up out of that it doesn't have to be a, a, a paralytic injury it doesn't have to be a loss of a limb for them to play in this game no there there are a variety of things cerebral palsy spina bifida um, uh, other related kinds of orthopedic impairments that would allow a person to uh, qualify under the law okay jordan kozlowski boy she's got it going Jordan Kendall cuts her off well. But in the lane, thrown away, out of bounds. Grady Hilburn, the intended receiver of that one. Now here comes Gwinnett. And New already numbers. all five people on defense are back waiting for him. Right. And you can hear the clank. Here's Derek firing up, no good. And a fight for the rebound and a run for the rebound. Picked up by Derek Claros and lost out of bounds. Going to go the other way. Nope, it's yes, going to go to Houston, yes. And Grady Hilburn going to trigger in over here in front of our broadcast area. And Giselle Zavala is in now for the Heat, number 50. Yep. With intensity. She works hard. She With really, intensity. really does. Very effective screener and, and good defender. Koslowski fires it up, no good. Follow up, no good. Whistle. And a foul. Hobson, the foul. That's his first. Tommy, it didn't take you long to watch this game to realize how athletic these, these students are. And um, uh, as we said last year, if people watching at home think that this is an easy thing to do, uh, put a chair out in your uh, backyard and, or your park and, and shoot for a while and see how hard it is to shoot from a sitting position. And then imagine that chair is rolling mm -hmm. and that other people are climbing into it, as you said a minute ago, and you yeah. realize how difficult it is. Yeah. Yeah, take that dining room chair and take it out there where you've got the goal in the backyard and sit there and shoot free throws all afternoon, right, Dr. Swearingen? It's difficult. 
And these coaches are extremely, extremely gifted. Uh, they have to know their athletes and, and what their disability is and what their uh, abilities are and then work with them on the skills of the game. And Kendall these Panthers. players have some good shot up and bounced out. They just cannot, Gwinnett cannot get anything to fall today. That's just the way it is. One for 21 from the field. They've taken the shots, they just won't fall. Derek did a very smart thing there. He knew that uh, he may not be able to pick up the ball, so he blocked uh, Donovan away from getting that loose ball. It goes out of bounds to the Heat. Robbie Berry triggers it in. Kendrell King across the timeline, getting away from harm's way. Derek, nice screen. Nice screen by cut, Derek over cut. there. Jordan comes across from the offside and cuts him off. They have to play person-to-person -person defense, but they can switch, so there are some zone tendencies even though they have a particular person to guard. And you best not sit there with the ball in your lap because you're gonna get tied up. That's for sure. And Gwinnett going to trigger the ball in. Wow, thrown away and picked out of midair. Break away, tumble and a fall. They really get after it, don't they? They do. And Travion, I believe, Took the spill. Yep, Travion yeah. Walker. And he's back he's in back. the wheelchair. Let's take a look at it. Wow. That's quite a tumble. Quite a tumble. Travion seems to be fine. Here comes the heat going the other way. Kendrell looking, stolen away. Pass ahead to Jordan. Here comes Koslowski. Robbie. Cut Robbie Barry cut her off. There was Steven. the pass to Donovan. The Hobson's figured this thing out exactly. now, hasn't he? Yeah, great passing lane defense. Yeah. Good defense by Hobson that time. Steven's been burned a few times on that trailing, hadn't he? Had a lane violation. And Gwinnett gets yet another opportunity. With just under a minute and a half. As we head to halftime here in the third period. Batted away yet again. Jordan picks it up. I tell you what, this Houston County defense has just been smothering today. Gwinnett has had some opportunities to to score, but they've also had some real problems with the ball taken away by Houston County, who has just smothered them on defense. Houston County makes you hurry up whether you want to or not. And when right. you start hurrying up, you just don't do things well. Yep. Donovan Way going to trigger it in here to Travion Walker. Walker looking, trying to get it back to Donovan Way looking. Jordan Kozlowski got a screen over there. Going to fire it. No, it's going to be batted away. Nice defense that time by Robbie Berry. Houston County going to trigger it in. Good play by Robbie Berry. Up, no good. Good. I think it's good. good. Yes. Rice Lowry. <laughs> that was Grady Hilburn, wasn't it? I think it's Rice Lowry. Let's see. Bounce. Good. All right. Here we go. Well, we have played half the game. That's the way we do it. Houston County, 24. Gwinnett, 4. Back for the second half after this. 
life. Like video games is all about getting to the next level. Mastering skills, gaining knowledge, and setting goals are crucial to success in both. Coming out of high school and jumping into manufacturing, I started here on the floor hands-on. and I just worked really hard and tried to learn everything that I could, and I advanced pretty quickly. I think there's definitely a place for women in manufacturing. Georgia Department of Education's Career Pathway courses give you the chance to power up your future. More information is at georgiasfutureworkforce.org. Here, beauty is a lot more than skin deep. For more than 100 years, we have focused on creating individual success stories. This is a place where professors are mentors, competition is cheered, collaboration counts, experience is hands-on, and connections are lifelong. VSU, over 100 majors, championship athletics, focused on your success. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. Let's talk a moment or two about what happened in the first half, as did last year's game. Houston County Sharks got off to a great start. Gwinnett, not so good. Yes, I, I, the, the smothering defense of the Sharks just has paid off for them. Uh, and their outstanding passing on offense. You can see them, Kendall King. There are the highlights. Kozlowski barely with a block. Great defense at times sure. from the sure. heat, but that that passing, the passing of the Sharks. That's been the difference, yes, and, and here's the, the guy bounce. that's been the difference right here. Donovan Ray, he has had his way in the first half of this game. And the Heat have hurt themselves beca uh, because they've not been able to put the ball in the basket. And if they can correct that and pick up the steam a little bit, they can cut into this lead. Gwinnett Heat, one for 21, two out of 10 free throws, eight turnovers, 10 out of 24 Houston County. 0 for 5 in free throws, 7 turnovers. That's the story of the game right there. It is, and, and, and the Heat team is much too talented. Uh, they can do better than this, and I'm sure that's... Uh... Seniors for each team being recognized, yes. Dr. Swearingen. Let's talk a minute about some of the other sports while they do that. Let's talk about some of the other sports these, these uh, young people participate in. Yeah, ne nearly all the members of these, if each of these two teams are playing also on other ASP things, especially wheelchair football, which they play in the spring, and wheelchair handball that they play in the fall. So these students go from one sport to the other, and of course with able-bodied uh, sports we preach that multiple sport participation helps you in a lot of different ways, so they embody this, and it's really great. Two special things to remember is that we have a couple of these athletes who participated in the GHSA wheelchair division of track and field. And uh, we have uh, uh, Robbie Berry that won the 200 meter race uh, playing for the Gwinnett Heat. And on the Sharks, we have Will Moore, number 33, who finished in the top three places. He medaled in the 200 meter, the 800 meter, and the shot put, which is what the wheelchair division constitutes. So it's been great for their participation, not only in AS sports, but also in GHSA sports. Where do you come alive? A stadium, lecture hall, a music hall, church potluck? This year, you have a new spot, walkgeorgia.org, a free website that provides you with all the resources needed to get your heart rate up and body out in your community. Sign up and receive individual or group fitness tracking, fitness demos by certified trainers, recipes, and a guide to resources in your Georgia county, all in one easy-to-use site. When you move more, you live more. walkgeorgia.org. 
cotton contributes $2.5 billion to the state's economy annually. It takes more than 60 cotton gins and manufacturers to bring cotton into our everyday lives. Kids always like to stay in the pool a little too long. And when they do get out, covered in goosebumps, you feel the urge to wrap them up. The cozy embrace of cotton does the job. Cotton, the natural choice for Georgia. Game day brings out the best in all of us. At Regions, every day is game day. What's the next great American invention? Meet a few Georgia Tech students who have an idea. We're Team Replantable, and we've invented a way for people to grow produce right in their kitchen. Engineers and innovators of every stripe present their proposals to the judges. Science and engineering. Industrial design. Mechanical engineering. Electrical engineering. Computer engineering. Electrical engineering. See the teams who've earned a golden ticket and who will take first place at the 2016 Inventure Prize at Georgia Tech. Wednesday, March 16th on GPB. William Moore, the, the lone senior, I think, for, uh, for Houston County. Yes, that's right, and a, and a brilliant student. He really is a lot of national honor awards and other things. He's an all-around all student. Here come the Gwinnett Heat as we start the oh, second nice half. nice pass. Up and no good. Rebound comes out to Houston County. There's not a lot you can do when you don't hit the basket. Jordan Kozlowski near midcourt. I think they were tangled up there, weren't they, Doc? They were. They were. So Jordan Kozlowski going to bring it in. And Robbie Berry going to be defending. And he's going to try to stay with her and cut her off. Kozlowski. Up and no good. Moore going to follow. No good. Kozlowski loses the rebound out of bounds. Was it batted away by the Heat? Evidently so. Kozlowski. Up, no good. Rebound comes out to the Heat. And they're doing the outlet pass now. They're going to try to pick up tempo. I think it went over and back, didn't they? No, I think we have a foul from okay. the, clipping it from Let's the back. Let's talk a minute about the alliance between the GHSA and S. Well, in 2001, uh, when I was executive director of the Georgia High School Association, we established this alliance with ASP because we recognized that they were the people who really were doing the work in school-based uh, athletics for students with physical disabilities. And it's been a great, great uh, experience, I think, for both of us, and our students have benefited. Yeah. Nice, nice shot. Nice shot by Robbie Berry. Where has that one been all day? Yeah, it's, uh, that's what I'm saying. They have the capability of coming back, there's no question. Robbie Berry with the basket. Go ahead, Dr. Swear. All right. Yes, and so, so the Aspen and uh, GHSA Alliance has, has been very good, and now we're excited. Let's take a look Oops. at Robbie Berry's nice little drifter. Good yeah. shot. Had that good shooter roll. He really did. And a good pass set it up. But now ASP is beginning to work in other states and develop the same kinds of programs and relationships with the State High School Association they do in Georgia. Barry with the foul, his second. Shot is up. No good. Houston misses. Moore follows. No good. Rebound comes out to Barry, who lost it. Now Gwinnett's got it. And I believe that was Kendrell coming out of there yes. with it. Kendrell King. Nice outlet pass to Derek Claros, but he's being cut off. Claros. Stays with it. Stays with it really well. Lefty goes to Bell and lost it. Now we got a jump ball and a whole lot more <laughs> down in the lane. Now they're going to pick him up and remount and reload here. This is amazing, isn't it? When, oh, it you, really when is. you really think about what they're doing, it's amazing. Oh, nice inbounds 
play with Robbie cutting down the middle. But oh, oh, nice, nice shot. shot. Nice shot. Stephen Hobson with the basket. You know, I, I really think Gwinnett's kind of getting it together here. What do you think? I think so. I really do. I think they regrouped well, good coaching. And Kendrell Bell on the breakaway. Or Kendrell King on the breakaway. I think I had Kendrell Bell playing down at Florida, didn't I? I think so. I think that's it. Let's take a look at the replay here for the Gwinnett Heat. And there's Hobson. Up and use the glass. That's why they have a backboard. The uh, inbounds play didn't quite work, but he was in the right place at the right time and made the best of it. And have they taken time out here? They have, yes. 4.25 in this period remaining. Some interesting things that are going on um, in, uh, in disability sport. Uh, George State University has started an intramural program in wheelchair basketball, and that's been a great thing. Deborah Shapiro, who's a member of the ASP board, is also a professor at Georgia State. And so that's uh, going to be maybe a, a beginning thing for them to get involved in the intercollegiate wheelchair basketball, which is developing in a number of, sport, of, uh, of places in the country. Uh, and then we got exciting news just before uh, we went on that NBC has pledged to make, um, I think, 60 hours of television time available to the U.S., to, to, the, uh, uh, to the Paralympics uh, this September, which is something they haven't done in the past. So more attention is being shown towards sport for disabled athletes. They put the work in. Yes. They put the dedication in. They should be entitled to that. All right. Kendrell King at the line. Too hard off the back of the iron. Free throws have been at a premium today. Second one. Too hard and off to the right. Houston County going to go for it. And it's going to be batted out of bounds. And I believe it's going to be, yes, Gwinnett Heat ball once more. Robbie Berry triggering in. Claros looking for somewhere to go. Circles the entire place. Now looking left the oh, up. No nice. good. Nice shot. Had the right idea. And here comes Moore. Headed the other way. To Walker. Walker gonna pull up and fire. No good. Moore heads for the rebound, but Kozlowski's gonna pull it down. And she's going to toss it right side. Donovan Way shot no good. It was an interesting by play here. They had uh, they double teamed uh, the heat double teamed Jordan in the back court and kept her from coming up court. And she finally got away and managed to get to the spot for the rebound. Kozlowski has really been pressured on defense, has she not? Really does. And there's no limit as far as girls and boys on a team, correct? No, it is not. In Glad fact, heat in full court. Kendall King looking, gonna get the uh, Barry up and good. Nice pass. Well, see, nice Robbie shot. Barry has been a difference here in the in the opening second half of this game. Definitely has, and he is the person I think they lead to for, look to for leadership. Gwinnett Heat on a six to nothing run here. You mentioned the gender issue. Let's take a look uh, at it. Here's a good look at it. Barry with the shot up and good. Pass and set up for the shot. You mentioned the gender issue. Uh, Jordan Kozlowski is the most valuable player of the Sharks wheelchair football team. So uh, you don't usually hear that. Okay. <laughs> I have to ask you something when we get a break about the other sports. And I've often wondered, they play the football in the spring, right? That's correct. On a basketball court. On a basketball court. Okay, so 
Well, let's just take a brief second. How do they play football? You can either have a, a manual chair or, or a power chair. Um, and it's two hand, it's a touch kind of thing. And um, you can pass the ball. If you're in a manual chair, you have to catch the ball. If you're in a power chair, then all the pass rush do is hit your chair with the ball and it's like you've caught the ball. Hmm. And um, it's, it's a really a fun game to watch. And, the, and, and, the, and the, the kids love it because down here, football's a lot. Yeah, football is the deal. Free throw is no good. Gwinnett had a night, has, has had a nice little run here. 6-0 six, six -oh run, and it's 24-10. to 10. I remember last year, I think the final was, what, 35 to 10? Is that right? Pretty close, I think. Okay. Nice screens to get Kendall down, open down the side. You can pass inside to Robbie. Barry up right. and no good. He's had two field goals this half. Nice pickup by the Gwinnett Heat. Alessia Baba. Barry. To King. Back to Barry. Lost and a breakaway to Kozlowski. Uh oh, here we here go. And Traveling, she didn't bounce it twice. She, she didn't. She got too many, too many rotations before her dribble. I tell you what, it's not a day at the. Uh, it's not an easy day at the office when you're officiating this kind of game. No, either is it? Yeah, while he was watching that, there was also probably an off-ball foul in the back court too. <laughs> <laughs> it's sure. tough. You know, you listen for noise, right? Yes. Wow. And someone is down again. Off the ball. Yeah, this is Giselle Zavala, right? Uh, I think it's Alessia. Alessia Barbara, maybe. I can't see the number. 14. No, Kathy Luna. Okay. Kendall maneuvers the chair very well. Oh, Barry. Oh, just missed it. He's had some good looks at the basket this half. And Travion Walker. Got a foul. Was that on Hobson? Or was it on King? I think it was on King. Kendra King with the foul. William Moore, second foul on King. Moore, under pressure. Stolen away, breakaway now. Here comes Barry. He's a lot a of chair here. speed. Nice one at the buzzer. Nice shot. Robbie Barry, number 10 for the bucket. Houston leads by 12, but it's been a good quarter. Barry's had six points in the quarter. We'll be back with more from the Macon Centerplex after we take this timeout. This program on GPB is made possible in part by supporters of the Georgia High School Association, including the following. This isn't just any team. This is your home team, okay? It's not about A team or B team. It's not about your boss telling you to be a team player or to take one for the team. No, home team is about pride. It's about standing strong, pulling together, and going crazy about a bad call you know is right. But because it was against your home team, it must be wrong. Look, some people just don't get it because it's not their team. But Farm Bureau Insurance does because everyone needs a home team for insurance. And we are that. Hey, great party. Oh, thanks. Here you go. One hamburger, medium well. Uh, this is well done. No, no, no. That's medium well. What? Are you calling me a liar? This thing is practically burnt. That's it. You're not going to come to my house and tell me how to cook a hamburger. Is, I don't really think you, you wouldn't do it there. You gotta be crazy. So, don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. Right now, I'm about 100 feet high, traveling at about 50 miles an hour, just thinking about where I should go next. Do you have any ideas? Visit us on our Georgia Traveler Facebook page. Gotta go! 
life. Like video games is all about getting to the next level. Mastering skills, gaining knowledge, and setting goals are crucial to success in both. I attended the College Career Academy when I was a sophomore. At the time, I was working at Taco Bell, but I realized that just wasn't for me. What I do here in my job is very similar to what I did at the College and Career Academy. Georgia Department of Education's Career Pathway courses give you the chance to power up your future. Information is at georgiasfutureworkforce.org. Travion Walker will trigger it in here for the Houston County Sheriffs. It's been a uh, uh, the Sharks. It's been a really, really nice quarter for Gwinnett. Eight point run for Gwinnett in the last 605 of the ball game. And here goes Walker to Kozlowski. No good. Follow. Good. That's the man, Donovan Way. He's always at the right place. Gwinnett in the quarter was four out of nine. Houston was zero for seven. 16 points now on the afternoon for Donovan Way. And that is definitely something to ride home about, isn't it? Yes. Robbie Perry is uh, trying to screen off Jordan so she can't pressure Kendall, but she manages to get there anyway. And there's Hobson in the corner down there, Barry. Yep. Back to King, no, high off there, and Kozlowski. She is everywhere. High King steal. to Barry, no. Barry with a rebound and the follow, no good, and out of bounds. Going to be Houston County going the other way. 26-12, Houston County here in the fifth period of play. Inbounds, it comes to Travion Walker. Walker gets out of harm's way, zips down the right side, shot is up, and nice shot. Good, nice shot by Grady Hilburn on the breakaway. We need to mention the cheerleaders from Houston County, too, Dr. Swearingen, who have been very diligent in their work this afternoon. Yeah, they they add an awful lot. We appreciate Houston County High School cheerleaders doing, doing the job that they're doing. Bryce Lowry. Make the last basket. Basket. Up and good. Travion Walker has it taken King. away. King with the steal. No good on the breakaway. Rebound comes out to Kozlowski. Long pass. Three on two, good spacing. And missed it. Derrick's in the right place. Derrick Claros. And here comes Hobson. Bat it away. Bryce Lowry on that last basket rather than the aforementioned name. Yes. Traveling called on Travion Walker. 28-14, certainly a much more competitive game. And right in front of our broadcast area, a young man who's had a good second half here. Robbie Berry. Nice bounce pass. Wow. By We've seen today yeah. there's yeah. quite a bit of tumbling yeah. down. That's correct. A lot of screening going on by the Heat to give Kendrell a pass to the basket. And shot is up and no good. We're getting almost to the point where the clock is becoming an enemy of the Heat, so they're yep. going to have to really pick it up. 28 to 14, though. They've had a good half, good second half. They've made some good adjustments. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Finally. They got that good shooter's roll on it. Finally got it there. Second shot. No good. 
And he gets the rebound, fires it up, no good. Follow by Barry, no good. Hobson, good. Well, working the boards. Yes. Stephen Hobson's had a good half as well. Klauski out of bounds. All right, let's take a look at Hobson's basket now. Caromed up and high off the glass. Good. It's really important. Look at him. He is definitely excited, isn't he? He is really he likes that one. Kozlowski. 28-17. Gwinnett has <laughs> the official say, hey, hey, watch that. A little hand-to-hand -hand combat there, wasn't it? Yeah, Bryce Lowry yet again. Bryce Lowry's had a good half for Houston County. Hobson, he's feeling it now. And they had him, they had three people on him, so they're they're keeping him away from the basket. Obviously, they know he feels it right now. Three minutes left in this fifth of six periods here. It's really important for shooters to keep the ball high with everybody rather similar in terms of, of, of height with sitting in chairs. Sure. And uh, that's a difficult thing to do to shoot with your arm fully extended. Jordan again playing the pass in the lane. There is Lowry. And here comes Kendrell on the chase to cut him off. And does. Oh, nice inside pass. Oh, look at that wow. pass. Wow. That was outstanding. What a nice pass by Braxton Robinson over his shoulder on the trailer. A little showboating here this afternoon, <laughs> Dr. Swearing, and that was a nice pass. If you got it, flaunt it. There yeah. you go. It's a championship game. That's right. Kendrell King looking. Three seconds. Three second violation. Do you know? Let's take a look at this. Look at there that right is. behind his back. What a nice shot. He knew where he was and he laid it off and the player was was receptive for the ball. You know, I have noticed in all the years I've been doing basketball games, they have really relaxed that three second rule. They let most teams today put a pup tent in there <laughs> and stay there, do they not? They do. I wonder what that is. Is it just the tempo of the game now? I think that's that they're it. allowing it and they don't they don't really call that very strict anymore, do they? It doesn't appear that either team is really trying to work a play by setting somebody up in the lane. They, there's a lot of attacking from the side and flashing to the middle. So I think most officials now are saying unless you're gaining an advantage, there's no need to make that call. Yeah, you know, the, the high low post thing is almost a thing of the past now, isn't it? Yeah. Three fouls on King. And the basketball game has transitioned greatly, hasn't it, Dr. Swearingen? It really has. Uh, I was sitting with a, a former coach who has about as many gray hairs as I do, and we were, and we were lamenting the fact that fundamentals have changed a little bit and, yep. uh, and uh, that people are using athleticism instead of some fundamental skills. Sure. But the sad part about it is most most could really use the athletic ability and the fundamental skills to their advantage if they put them together. Exactly right. And, and I think that's one of the advantages a wheelchair athlete has is the fact that they, they have to rely on a few fundamental things of getting the chair going in the right direction, controlling it, controlling the ball, and they're able to do those fundamentals. Kozlowski with a third foul. Claros up no good. Rebound's gonna come out of there to Donovan Way. And the Sharks going the other way. Barry gonna go down hard yet again. Great comeback. Uh, I w we're very pleased with that, and I'm sure they are too. But the coach is much more than any of us, wouldn't you think? Oh, I think so. And the players. All right, battle Bat for the ball. Away as we run down under 35 seconds. Batted away. Yeah. Good Donovan, hands. Donovan Way was going to 
fire it up yet again. Was that Barry down and there Robbie again? Robbie Barry had the passing lane defense and batted the ball. Well, that heat going to trigger it in now. Barry's going to trigger it in. I don't think they'll get a shot off unless Houston does. And they did. And wow. That's a steal. And almost, almost a basket at the buzzer. We've got another period to play from the Macon Centerplex. It's a dandy 32 17. Houston County Sharks over the Gwinnett Heat will return with a final period after this. The GHSA Basketball Championships are made possible in part by Regions Bank. It's time to expect more. Georgia's Electric Membership Corporation, lighting the way. Technical College System of Georgia, learn more, earn more. And by viewers like you. Thank you. The GHSA would like to thank the Georgia Farm Bureau. What is by moonlight an empty field is by the magic of electricity, sacred ground. As the official energy provider of the GHSA, Georgia's electric membership cooperatives proudly support our student athletes. We are there, illuminating the glory moments fans just have to see. Capturing the hustle, elevating champions, sharing the win. Georgia's EMCs, empowering our youth, lighting the way. This moment, getting here took three years of sleepless nights and postponed vacations. Your dad said, play it safe. Your husband kept the faith. But franchising is why you partnered with Regions in the first place. We share your vision for moving forward. And at moments like this, Hi, Steve. that makes all the difference. Is your business at a turning point? Regions. As we head into the fourth and final period, let's take a look at the damage that young Robbie Berry has done here. First, an excellent defensive play. Good shot here. Then another here. And last but not least, this nice breakaway shot up and in. So Berry has had a very nice second half as we had into the final period with Houston County leading 32 17. It's been a good second half for the Gwinnett Heat, Dr. Swearingen. It really has, and uh, Robbie would be the person you would expect uh, to show the leadership. Um, 11th grade student at Dekeela High School and um, is good at every phase of the game. And there's Derek. Uh, Claro's firing it up. No good, a little short. Hobson has also had a good second half. He really has, and um, He's a he's a presence that you've got to deal with underneath, either offensively or defensively, and paid off. Here's a breakaway. Oh, nice pass. And a pass nice. up and good. Donovan Way again. Donovan Way having his way. He has had a big day today. And it's it's just amazing to see time after time the Sharks being able to to find those open players across the court. 18 points for Donovan Way today. Six of 20 field goals in the second half for Gwinnett. Make that uh, seven of 21. Penetration by Kendall and dip, uh, dishing it off to Robbie. Great Robbie. combination. Excellent. Excellent. Wow. Banded away by Barry almost. Taken and down and across timeline by Travion Walker. Up and good. Nice little move there. Nice shot. I think they're really beginning to get the feel of it a little better now. You know, when, when you when you tip things off here, 
and you're the first game of the day and you come into this big arena, it's a, a little intimidating, Dr. Swearingen. Yes, and you're playing for a championship. And uh, I think as we heard earlier, when uh, we had one of the teams at uh, Grenad Heath that stayed here last uh, night at a hotel, and one of their players said it was the first time they'd ever stayed at a hotel. So a lot of new experiences, and uh, it takes a while to adjust to. I think that's great, though. Especially when you figure that for many of these young people, they never believed that they were growing up, that they would have had the opportunity to participate in something like that. And that's one of the great benefits of ASP. They provide the young people in the schools with an opportunity to learn great things about themselves and develop sure, skills. Sure. And how many would have thought three or four years ago they'd be playing on this stage? which is a pretty doggone big stage across the state of Georgia, wouldn't you say? It really is. And, of course, we'd love to be able to have more people here to share this experience in person. Uh, but uh, for a variety of reasons, that hasn't been happened for a while. Yeah. I think the more exposure the general public gets to it and sees what's happening here on television, They'll want to be a part of the experience in person. Donovan Ray so give and go. Oh. to Kozlowski, who missed Easter. everything. Yeah, they really set that up well. That was a good breakaway. They're they're trying to block Jordan in the backcourt with one or two chairs, and she shakes free and manages to get into an open passing lane. It's amazing. She does that well. There's Donovan up and no good. Batted away yet again. Donovan has been close to that basket every trip down there. He really knows. He, he's got a feel of where he needs to be. Triggers it in. Oh, Kozlowski Rob, has it batted away. Robbie, Robbie makes another again. great defensive play. Substitution going to come in. William Moore going to come back in now. And out of the game for Houston County. Grady Hilburn. More up and no good. Whistle and a foul, and I believe that's Barry's foul. His third. More at the line to shoot two. Four oh four left in this one. And this young man has what a three nine grade point average. That's right. Uh, Isn't that right? Yeah, three three nine eight grade point average national. What happened to those nominee? other two points there? <laughs> Tough teacher, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> didn't want him to be perfect, huh? Ah, uh, got a lane violation against the, the right, Sharks. Did, what's a little more of the history on him, Moore? Well, he, Moore, uh, he's a he's a twelfth grader. National Honor Society member, section leader of the Houston County High School Band. Uh, as we mentioned before, a, a three-time medal winner in, in the wheelchair track meet last year. Just great all-around kid. King up and no good. Nice shot. Kendra King. Gwinnett has really played a great second half. 36-20, second one good. I believe Kendall has gotten, he's reined in that radar, hasn't he? That's right. Here come the Sharks. Braxton Robinson. Up to way, up to more, no good. Batted away. Let's turn around and go the other way. As you mentioned uh, earlier, I think Donovan Way has 18 points, which is unusual uh, in any game, uh, wheelchair basketball, to get that many points, and especially on a team like the Sharks, who usually distribute the shooting, the scoring among a variety of players. So he's had a tremendous game. He's been open all day long. Foul, 
I believe, on number 11. That's four. Braxton Robinson with a foul. His fourth. One if. Now we're in the bonus. Kendrell King. No good. Barry with the rebound. Nice move by Barry to slash in the lane there. He really did. He timed it very well on the release and got inside, but just couldn't quite get the job done. Excellent effort. This has been a much better game here in the second half. Both teams really seem to have, have really played well. Houston County's gone through a little lull here. They really have, and uh, you know, sometimes uh, with young people, it's it's tough. When you get up, it's it's hard to let go and then turn it back on again. Especially when they were what up. 15 points at one time, weren't they? Uh, a little you, more than that. A little more than that, I think, at, at one point. And um, 20 to 3, yeah. 20 to 3. 17. Adolescent athletic minds are the same, pretty much, regardless of anything else. And so, <laughs> you know, you never know what exactly you is going to happen. You said that happen. so kindly. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the important things about coaching is how you can take and bring the best out of these young people all the time. Well, I think we, we tend to forget that they go through so many emotional things in the course of a day, you know, exactly. in this growing up experience. And there's more to life than, than playing wheelchair basketball. Yes, indeed. There's Barry with the steal. And looking to pass. And does. Stolen away, almost gets it to Hobson. Good, look at Hobson. He's pleased. He has really, he sticks that tongue out after he does that. Hobson's got eight points here in the second half. He's also had a good half, 36-23. He does show emotion, doesn't he? Yes, and it was a great pass that Giselle set him up to also. Batted away, we could have a steal here, nope. Braxton, Braxton Robinson has yeah. great hands and a nice shot. And a nice smooth shot. That was a silky smooth shot there. One forty-five left in this one. 36-23 or 38-23, 15-point lead. And the Heat. In full court, in the Barry, up and no good. Donovan Way takes it away. And Kendrell King gets it back. And down under the basket down there. A little difficult to see the number, Dr. Swearingen. And it held ball. Yep, that was Giselle and Zavala. Wow, what a pass from Barry, Robbie Barry. And Travion was awake on the other side. The only thing kept that from being a score. Shark's going to trigger it in now, going to bounce it on a breakaway. Here is Donovan Way. Let's see what he can do with it. Good. Score. Yep, Donovan Way, he's got 20. Donovan Way has 20. That's a lot of points. Let's take a look at the breakaway basket. Donovan Way up and got that nice little bounce. Had a nice little rolling screen. Yes, too. yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. And we've got a timeout with 33 seconds left. Donovan Way has had a, an excellent day today. And I tell you what, Leon Porter, Alvin Jackson, and Stephen Lewis, our officials, have done a marvelous job today. They really have. Uh, they, 
and as we've heard a couple of times, they do some talking to the players when they think they're mm -hmm. getting on the verge of getting maybe a little out of control and right. really kind of helps rein them in. Breaking down Way's statistics, six in the first, six in the second, two in the third, two in the fifth, and four here in the sixth. He's had a really good day, 20 points. And you hit the nail on the head earlier when you said he really gets himself in position to score. He does. And he, he does that without the ball, and Sharks get him the ball. There you go. It's amazing what happens when you get in position to <laughs> score, isn't it? If it doesn't scare you to death, that's a good thing. Long. A three-pointer. Three-pointer from downtown. No good. Sharks into full court. Hobson tries to pick up the loose ball. Barry makes it. And Barry's got it at half court. Two seconds left. Barry fires. No good. And the game's going to end there. Kendrell King also had a very good day. Dr. Swergen, it, it's been a ball. Oh, it's been tremendous. It's always exciting for me to be around the ASP sports. And I'd like to let the, the people watching to know that if you want to find out more about ASP, go to adaptedsports.org and learn more about all the things that are going on in the world of disability sports.